Hello Taurus, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, focusing on you and the person you're thinking about. It'll be a general love reading, so it cannot resonate and will not resonate with everyone watching. Just because you're watching this video does not mean this is your story, okay? Check out your other placements for more messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, let's get into it, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit, in regards to love? I'm using the Ojo Zen Tarot deck as an oracle deck today. And a huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented. I really appreciate it. All right, let's see for Taurus. What do they need to know in regards to love? Inner voice, intuition. What else? The miser. This is someone who's a little, not a little, they hold back a lot. They don't give anything, stingy. Someone could be selfish in this relationship or connection. Someone could be holding back in this connection. The um, inner voice, that, that is the same as the high priestess. They don't speak, they don't talk. They, they keep things to themselves. So there could be something that you don't know. Slowing down. Something could be uh, very delayed or taking its sweet time to get to you. What else for Taurus? I feel like there's something you're not really, you might know of something, but you're not speaking about it or vice versa. They might know some, they might have like some sort of idea. Look at this silence. <laughs> exactly. Very similar cards, by the way. Um, see the faces look very similar. So someone's not sharing, not communicating something. They're keeping something to themselves in this connection. So let's get more insight into your person. Spirit, give me some insight into the person that Taurus is dealing with. Get some insight, please. What are their thoughts or feelings? Regarding this situation. What are their thoughts or feelings? Thank you. Hummingbird. All right. Lots of energy with the hummingbird. What else? Oh my gosh. What else for Taurus, please? Can you tell me about the person they're dealing with? The crow past, present, future. Someone knows something. Someone knows something here. Otter. Very young, light, happy energy there with the otter. Let me um, look at this hummingbird real quick here. Positive, enthusiastic, resourceful, energy and positivity. Returns to sources daily for nourishment and rejuvenation. Hmm. Endless well of energy and positivity. So it's almost like there's something being like hidden in, beneath the surface that's very loud. This is this is what I'm picking up. <laughs> I'm trying to try to explain in a way that makes sense. There's something that's very loud beneath the surface. 
but above is very quiet. So I'm picturing like a sea, right? There's a sea and there's a storm. And when you dip underneath the waves, it's completely quiet and there's a lot of activity, but you don't hear it when you're up at the surface. Does that make sense? I hope it does. There's something here that there's a lot of energy surrounding it, but there's, it's silent right now. There's somebody not communicating or keeping something to themselves for some reason. They're hiding this. The crow is a symbol of magic, has a gift for seeing the unseen and knowing the unknown. So it's almost like someone's gonna find out or someone here knows that something isn't being said or communicated. So let's get into it with the tarot. I'm using the crow tarot today. I just got it last week and I love it. Been using it a lot. messages for Taurus please in regards to love so I'm gonna be doing a you spread and then a them spread and then a spread about the both of you so feel free to flip the roles but I'm gonna be starting with you Taurus what are Taurus's thoughts or feelings regarding this connection what is Taurus thinking or feeling regarding this connection spirit what are their thoughts or feelings the moon reversed, exactly. Pisces energy here with the moon reversed. Something's coming to light. Either you're finding it out or the, someone's gonna surprise you with it. Something is not as, it's, as you thought it was. And it's gonna be almost like a shocking revelation. And I keep getting these readings. Tell me more for Taurus. I think this is just something happening to the whole collective. The hanged man. You're going to be able to see a situation from a new angle, a new perspective. You're going to have new clarity. What else for Taurus? Nine of Wands reversed. So this has been kind of a, an exhausting, long time coming kind of energy. A lot of time has passed pro pro probably, I can't talk. Um, there could be trust issues in this connection, a lack of trust. Um, someone just tired, ready to give up. We'll clarify these. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Three of Swords reverse. Interesting. Some sort of third party interference here or someone wanting to overcome a painful situation. Let's see. What else can you tell me for Taurus's person? Please? What are their thoughts or feelings? King of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Um... I don't like this energy. The higher font reversed. Okay. So there could be some sort of commitment or contract here that's not doing so well. This also symbolizes a broken commitment. Taurus energy, there you are. King of Wands reverse is someone someone who's very um, focused on themselves what they they do what they want to do they're reckless they they take unnecessary risks they have a bad temper argumentative um they lack courage or confidence they don't really finish what they it's like they're all they're all talk no action ace of cups at the bottom very interesting that this came out with the higher font reversed Either this person wants to fix what's broken, because I have 
Hierophant reversed and Three of Swords reversed, or something needs to be broken in order to have new love. Let's see. I'm going to clarify those, but I'm going to set down some cards about your connection as a whole here. Tell me about this connection between Taurus and the person. Okay. The Magician reversed. Something has not been able to be manifested. Someone could be, um, someone here might not, you might not be able to trust someone in your circle. Tell me more. You could have a manipulative energy around you as well. Someone here with the Magician reversed doesn't have the resources to manifest something. The Tower reversed. Trying to avoid a tower here. As in your connection, one of you or both of you are trying to avoid a tower. Maybe because. Hmm. Strength card. Leo energy here. Give me one more, please. I can't believe you have all major arcanas. For your situation. Tell me more about this situation between Taurus and this person. Oops. Well, I'll take them both. I wasn't going to, but I'll take them both. The Empress and the Five of Wands. Very interesting. So there's, I feel like there's um, drama or a lot of uh, action here. A lot of energy here. Um, competition, jealousy, drama, arguments, conflict. We have an empress who's able to manifest whatever they put their mind to. Empress tends to be a parent typically a mother or a wife. They're in a long-term commitment. They are very resourceful. They have the tools to grow things. We have strength here as well. This is someone who is brave, has control over their emotions, strong person. And then we have the tower reverse and the magician reversed with the five of wands. What's at the bottom? Nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment. So I'm getting like very, I almost feel like there's two energies here. One that's able to make things happen and one that's not. One that's strong and one that is like one that has control over their emotion and one that's very combative, has a lot of energy. I think both, both people here are trying to avoid a tower moment. And even there, though there's drama, I feel like there's someone who has their emotion, they're thinking of their emotional fulfillment. Page of Cups reverse, Queen of Swords. So there's something that has been very disappointing, very heartbreaking. However, they're still going to go after their wish fulfillment here. Queen of Swords doesn't care. They set boundaries. They cut whoever they need to cut out. They're very direct. Very interesting. So let's clarify. I'm going to clarify with the same deck. Let's start with this Three of Swords over here. Tell me about this Three of Swords for Taurus. Seven of Cups reversed. What else? What else for this Three of Swords reverse? High Priestess reversed. Interesting.
Hmm. Queen of Wands at the bottom. Three of Swords reverse. So let's start there. Typically, this is overcoming heartache, heartbreak, pain, or it could be a third party reveal, third party situation. I have Seven of Cups reversed. This is um, no longer feeling confused about something, um, making a decision from many options. choosing something and then I have the high priest is reversed which is either someone ignoring their intuition not listening to their inner voice about something um, or it could also be that they're finally speaking up what they kept to themselves they're expressing then I have the queen of wands at the bottom so I think this has to do with a person that they like their partner could be you or their, or a third party here. The King of Wands is reversed and Queen of Wands is upright, which tells me they're not seeing eye to eye. Something's not working here. There's a Queen of Pentacles. So there could be two Queens involved. Does not have to be third party interference does not have to be a romantic partner. It could be anybody in that person's life who's interfering in the connection in some way causing a divide tell me about this higher font reverse why is the higher font reverse here the sun reversed sign of leo here so this commitment, this contract is not a happy one. Someone's disappointed or there's something that's not very clear here, not being seen clearly. The sun is also a card for um, a lot of Leo energy here, by the way, but the sun is also a card for me of children. Ten of cups. So emotional fulfillment, family, children again. There could be uh, children involved. Justice reversed. This could be a divorce. Because I have justice and the higher font reversed than the Ten of Cups. So there could be a divorce here or some sort of legal situation here. Someone here could be happy in this connection and the other one can be completely disappointed um, as well. But for some reason, I'm getting that there's something here that's been very um, like tough, difficult because of the Three of Swords, uh, the Sun reverse, the Higher Farm reverse, Justice reverse. This has been very difficult in this connection from this person. This person could be dealing with this on their own or this is the person that you're dealing with currently. The connection has not been very stable because they are not very stable. They go back and forth or um, they keep a lot to themselves. When they do speak up, it's like, you know, maybe too little, too late. Very interesting. So let's look at you over here. What's this moon reverse? The moon reverse. You're going to be seeing something from a different angle here. Three of Wands. What's this moon reverse? I feel like this is going to come at the right time. This revelation or this reveal, this secret coming out. You're going to, it's like you're waiting for it. Tell me about this moon reverse. Four of Pentacles reversed. No longer holding back, no longer being able to let go of something. Tell me about the Nine of Wands reverse. Nine of Pentacles. Freedom, independence, security. This is somebody who is 
doing it all on their own and happy to do so, doing very well. You could be single or wanting to be single. Because hmm. you're, uh, it's almost like you're tired. And I think we had the same reading last time too for you, Taurus, where it's like you were moving on. Tell me about the hangman. Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability, financial security, long-term commitment. You're seeing something that's been long-term in a new light. You're seeing a new perspective a, um, about what it means to have long-term stability and security. Tell me more about the hangman. Two of Pentacles. You're going back and forth, weighing your options, going back and forth about the pros and cons. So what's going on here with the tower reverse? Your new perspective is gonna cause you to make a decision. You're the one that's gonna be making a decision. Knight of Cups. So someone's saying what they need to say in order to avoid a tower moment. Emotionally manipulating a situation possibly here. Yeah, using words and, and, and communication. So they're gonna say whatever they need to say to avoid a tower moment to you or you to them. Wheel of Fortune, bad timing, bad luck, unfortunate events here. I think this, this tower is meant to happen anyway. It just hasn't happened because it hasn't been the right time yet. Tell me about the Five of Wands. What's this Five of Wands about? Knight of Pentacles reversed. So um, there's um, possibly conflict because there's something, an opportunity that hasn't come your way or an opportunity that um, is too, is very slow going. Um, and the stability is not there and it's taking too long, possibly. Tell me more about this Five of Wands. Two of Swords reverse. So someone here could be um, making a decision about this. Five of Wands. They could also be refusing or blocking themselves from making a decision because they're in this waiting mode. Even though there, there's conflict here and there's a lot of um, delays, someone here could be refusing to make a decision or has made a decision finally because we have an empress here. Empress gets things done. Tell me more about this empress. This empress, they tend to, this could be you, Taurus, they tend to get things grow things on their own. They know their worth, they know their value. There's that Queen of Swords again. I, I'm telling you, I don't believe in coincidences. And then the Eight of Cups. So there could be a delay in leaving a situation or someone could be returning to you. But I think it's more a delay in leaving because the, the Empress here, I mean, someone could want their Empress back. But there could be like finances or something like that, um, keeping someone from leaving a situation or trying to do things on their own. Again, this could be you, Taurus, or the person that you are dealing with. Tell me more about this Empress. More, please. Queen of Cups, another queen. There's three queens here. Three people, too many people. <laughs> Too many cooks in the kitchen. Ace of swords at the bottom. So there could be something here that's just not clear, not beginning, not starting. If this is the same person, 
This is someone that is, I mean, they're all upright, emotionally mature, in, intuitive, um, direct, logical. Could be a water sign, air sign, Taurus Libra. We have a lot of signs here. But I feel like this Empress wants to manifest something based off of love, emotional fulfillment, honesty, truth. Or um, this Empress knows about more than one queen. There's been some sort of deception with the Ace of Swords reverse. This could be also that someone um it's almost like they need to recognize their worth because it's like they don't know their worth and that's why they're going back and forth but this emperors they can do anything they don't need anybody they're very confident um they attract things everything they have all of the resources at their disposal Tell me more about this strength card. Two of Wands reversed. Again, there's a decision that's going to be made. Someone has been debating, going back and forth, um, but there's, there's definitely a decision that's going to be made. And I think it's going to happen quickly based off of what you find out over here with this moon. This moon's going to allow you to let go of something. And this moon could be anything, anything that is finally revealed, something that is that you realize about a situation, a revelation that you have yourself. It's going to allow you to let go of something. You're going to be weighing the pros and cons, thinking about your long term stability, um, but you'll be able to see that in a new perspective as well. Your intuition cannot be blocked to do this, though. You need to be able to see the know the unknown and see the unseen right and you can only do that if your intuition is solid someone needs the courage to make this decision i think they're going to realize their value or their worth as an empress and it could be you or the person you're dealing with again but something that's been a long time coming i feel like someone's going to make a decision about and it's probably dealing it's got it might cause conflict actually Someone's just saying whatever they need to say to keep things from, from blowing up in their face. So be careful with that. And I think your intuition, um, your person, they it's like almost like they don't, they know the truth of something, but they haven't communicated it and maybe they're ready to. I don't know what that's about. And there's like, again, this, this contract, this, if your person's in a third party, they're not in a happy situation. There might be children involved as well. So I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If it didn't resonate, check out your other placements and um, I'll see you in another video. Take care.